Hi folks, uh, welcome to part two of my mail day. Um, my name is Team Magma. Um, you may know me from Instagram and Twitter. Um, part one, you may have seen I got all of this mail here um, from Instagram and eBay purchases. And part two, we will be focusing on a lovely second half of the mail. So all these cards here. Um, these are from Twitter. Um, so any trades, any purchases that I've done through that. And we'll get cracking straight away. So I'm going to start off with uh, these cards here. And not that one there. So we have four cards from S.O. Res Resistain. Um, he's a Japanese uh, seller. And I traded a PSA 10 Lugia. Um, for a couple of cards and he surprised me with some amazing extras. You may have seen on Instagram and Twitter already the the rest of the extras. So there was a uh, there was a, a enlarged Mega Mewtwo uh, card. There was another blast on his pack which came with the promo Blastoise EX as well as a couple of packs. So I might as well open this pack whilst we're here, see what we get before we do. These are some of the other extras we had. So we had the, the cool Pikachu coin, the Manafi coin and the Shaman coin. They were pretty trendy cards. I'll put that away and we'll get this one open. And let's see what we get here. I know these uh, have 10 cards in these packs and they're all reverse hollow with either a break or a um, EX card. So let's see what we, we get in this pack. So we've got Cool Looking Chop, uh, Cool Mug Gap, love the, uh, the foil uh, reverse hollow on these. We get a nice looking Entei. That's very nice. Oh wow, an Ancient Trait Articuno. That's a really nice card. We get a Vespaquin. Uh, Xerneas. Really nice cards these are. A Delphox. And our EX, our Mega EX was a Mega Manectric. Very nice. It's turbo bolt attack. Uh, we get a stadium. I'm not too sure which one that is. And a cool water energy reverse foil. So, pretty cool pack there. Um, I'll show you what I actually purchased. Or traded for, sorry. Oh, well, we've got the Blastoise. Which is another extra and a cool Mega Charizard fake card so it's one of my favourites because it's just so very bizarre, so very rare because it's it's fake so you don't really get many of these about so I'll be keeping that one and what I actually traded for was a Japanese Mewtwo Gold Star these guys look amazing and a Japanese Gyarados gold star, so the red Gyarados. This looks really nice. Let's shine that one about. And pop those over there, so that's SO Resistain. Got that amazing trade from. Um, now we will move on to um, Mimi and Pokemon Excavation. So you may have heard of her on YouTube, she's pretty big, and on Twitter. So I got a silly amount of Charizards. We'll start off with the extra she provided, which is a very cool burnt blamed Charizard. As you can see, it's full of damage, but that kind of adds to the fun. A little burn mark in the middle there. It's probably someone's just 
put a lighter to the back or something like that, but it's just, it's silly good, it's cool, it's a Charizard, it's, it's kind of that, that stupid damage on it, so that's pretty cool, um, a hollow tops Charizard starts us off in this, uh, this purchase, see the cool looking uh, texture on that one, um, got another Charizard, this one's got a little see through on the, uh, on the card, and it's dual sided, but again from tops. A um, couple more Charizards on tops. And we got the Mewtwo Strikes Back movie cards. So the bottom one is foil, and the top one is a non foil card. Both of the Charizards fighting each other. So it's Mewtwo's Charizard versus Ash's Charizard. Um, we've got a couple of the, I believe in English it's the Legendary Treasures Charizard, the first editions, as you can see there, very cool looking Charizard, and um, they're non hollow as well. Um, I believe this is the Supreme Victors Charizard, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, again non hollow. Very nice looking Charizard out there. Um, the Power Keepers, I believe this one is. The Power Keepers Charizard. Um, nice hollow on that one. And on the back we've got the EX Power Keepers sign on it there. Very nice um, foil writing as well. And then we move on to Boundaries Crossed, Reverse Hollow. Very nice reverse holo for a Charizard. I think the best reverse holo you can get for a Charizard is the Legendary Collection Charizard with the Firework reverse holo. But this will do for now. Um, we've got a Charizard promo, so Charizard G Level X. Um, never had one of these before. But they are pretty cool designs, as you can see. Nice uh, holo design on that. And then we move to the classic Wizards of the Coast Charizards. So we've got a non hollow dark Charizard. These designs are always quite sinister, which is very nice. And again, we've got another first edition dark Charizard, but that's a hollow one. Again, very nice the design. There's just a little scuff on the top loader. The card's actually in near mint condition on both of these very very nice, You've got a little swirl hollow on that one as well and then we move into more Charizards oh, let me put those out of the way so we've got a base set 2 Charizard and you can never beat the older Charizard designs and again, finishing off with a base set, as you can see there. So, pretty cool Charizard designs. Pretty cool purchase, as you can see. We've got quite a few Charizards. Um, as you may already know, I'm a bit of a Charizard collector, so these all help. Oh, I forgot one already. We also had a PSA 8 Charizard which is pretty cool. It's the older PSA case designs. So it's a, it's a well, it's a completely different design. We've got the, the old uh, hollows on the back. It's a very nice base set Charizard, PSA 8. So that was the highlight of this purchase. And we'll put that over there. So that was Pokemon Excavation for that one. And I come to the end almost but for one card which is this one here um, this came partly through eBay and partly through um, Dandy Saw so this dude was amazing in getting me the cards you see in front of you um, I asked him to buy it on eBay and then send it to me when he did so it was about $50 in uh, shipping costs if I bought it through eBay, so 
he was kind enough to buy it through eBay and uh, ship it on towards me. So I'll now reveal what we have, and it's the amazing Umbreon Gold Star, which is just truly amazing. As you see, unfortunately, only the Japanese ones are the hollow ones, but you can't really complain with the the, the, the just in sheer amazement here of this card as you may be able to tell and it's from the Pop Series 5 collection um, as well in that collection is the Espeon Gold Star which is another one that's on my want list but this is the highlight of my mail I've been waiting weeks and weeks for this and well to this finally here I can't stop looking at it Truly amazing, so be sure to check out uh, Dandy Saw's uh, Twitter and his YouTube channel. He's got some great content on there, um, really great guy to work with. So we have Dandy Saw with the Umbreon, a couple more gold stars from uh, SO Resistine, and a few awesome Charizards from. Pokemon Excavation. Uh, be sure to check them all out um, on Twitter and uh, two out of three have uh, YouTube channels. Um, this has been the end of my mail series for now. Um, I'll be sure to keep you updated when I get some more in. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to pop a comment, like and subscribe, um, pop me some feedback and I'll be speaking to you guys soon. Thank you very much.